Uh, hi, this is Mel, WA5UTK. Yeah, I thought I'd do a little video here on uh, this J.W. Miller AT2500 um, HF tuner. Works 80 through 10 and can be adjusted either manually or auto. Um, it'll ha handle uh, a couple of kilowatts and uh, here's a frontal view of the main controls and move over this way show you the meters the buttons and let's see at present I have my radio set on the uh, 40. Let me have my tune button here. The way you tune this is you crank in the carrier and that didn't work. And what you do to do your tuning is you inject the carrier, hit the start button, it'll set off to do its tuning. In this case it went pretty quick. Doesn't always go that way. I just changed bands, went to uh, went to 20. Let's see what it does with that. And it tuned it pretty quick. And let me bump up here to now we'll try 15. And did that pretty quick. Now we'll try going from 15 down to uh, 75. And as you can see, found it pretty quick. Now, one thing I've noticed with this is that it doesn't always lock on exact. In other words, where it's showing the lower SWR is not always where it's got maximum output, so sometimes you have to go in and manually adjust the uh, tuning. Let me step up here and show you an inner view of the unit. This is the uh, tank circuit. As you can see, rather large components tuning capacitors, tank coil, band switch, uh, the motor mechanisms on the back. And then this is looking at the circuit board, the uh, brains of the unit, if you will. There's a switch right back here on the back where you can um, change this unit from 110 to 220 and at present it's being run on on uh, 110. And then to show you the back of the unit and show you the motors again on the back of the caps. back of the meters, switch mechanisms, and looking at the back of the tuner, you have an output for long wire connection, next one to it is a bypass, and then the next three are um, tuner outputs, obviously input on the bottom, and then this is for the um, other connections, you have your AC power, um, DIN plug from the coupler unit. And when you're not using an amplifier with this, you have to uh, uh, jumper the bottom two phono connections. And here's a side view of the tuner.
Okay, and last but not least, this is the coupler unit. This is what picks up the RF for the meters to work. Um, you can run the tuner manually without any AC power hooked up to it or the coupler, but the meters won't work. So this is what uh, detects the SWR and such. So, anyway, that's kind of a quick overview of the uh, J.W. Miller AT2500 tuner. I understand back in their days these were, were quite the unit. And even today, it's uh, still a mighty nice unit. Thanks for taking your time to look. Hope you enjoyed the video. 73 is from LWA5 UTK in San Antonio.